In this video, we'll show you how to customize the look and feel of Smart View chart tiles to make them easier to interpret. Use the timestamps in the description below if you want to skip ahead or review. Charts are visual and help us quickly interpret data. Your administrators can configure Content Intelligence tiles to show Web Reports data as charts. These tiles can be single width, double width, or full page charts. Chart tiles will show this icon and can include various chart types. Depending on the tile configuration, you can customize the look and feel of a chart in several ways. Let's take a look. If a chart tile can take an input parameter, the Edit button appears. Provide a parameter and click Run Web Report to update the chart. Repeat this whenever you want to update the parameter value. Administrators set the default view of the chart, but they can also allow users to change the chart options. If configured, the Chart Options button opens a menu where you can change multiple settings. These settings persist until you reload the page. Here's how to use these settings. One axis of the chart shows the total count. Active column lets you choose what to use on the other axis of the chart. For this chart, active column is set to office, so it lists the number of assets in each office. If you change active column to type, the chart updates to list the number of assets of each type. Theme lets you choose the color palette for the chart. Each theme name reflects the number of colors in the palette. This chart uses the Indigo 6 theme, which has six unique colors. Since there are eight categories, two of the colors repeat. To ensure unique colors, choose a theme with a larger palette number. For accessibility, the Pattern 20 theme uses patterns to improve contrast. Sort by lets you change how to sort the results. You can change the sorting of the count from ascending numeric order to descending numeric order. Or you can change the sorting by the active column label names in either ascending alphabetic order or descending alphabetic order. Show values as controls whether the results appear as a percentage of the total count or as the actual number of items. Large numbers will use standard notation. Group After focuses on the top results by combining the less relevant results into a category called Other. For this chart, Group After is set to 5, so the top 5 categories appear. The remaining values are merged into a category called Other, which shows the combined total. If you change Group After to 3, then the top three results remain, while the other, smaller values are grouped and totaled as other. If enabled, you can expand a chart tile. An expanded chart tile looks and behaves in a similar way to a full page chart. You can interact with an expanded chart tile or a full page chart using the chart options, along with two additional features, refine by filtering and action buttons. The chart options work as described for chart tiles. You can review them using the timestamps in the description. The Refine By panel lists the categories available for the selected active column. Focus your view of the results by filtering for the categories that you want to see. If, for example, you were only interested in the smaller offices, select their checkboxes and apply. The chart updates and lists your filter selections. This chart is already filtered for specific offices, but you can refine the results even further. To see how many physical assets are in each office, change Active Column to Type, select the checkboxes for the assets you want, and Apply. The chart updates and adds your additional filter selections to the list. You can remove your filters individually, which automatically updates the chart, 
or you can reset to the default chart view. If your administrator has configured action buttons, you can see them in expanded view charts or full page charts. Each button triggers a web report that performs an action, such as emailing results, exporting results, initiating a workflow, or opening a filtered table page view. And that's how you can customize the look and feel of Smart View charts to make them easier to interpret. To learn more, visit our website or watch the other videos in this series.